Hi everyone, it's Julie from Yummy Man and Kick-Ass Chicks, and welcome to the March 11th edition of This Week Next Week. Now, last week wasn't the first vlog I did, and I got some really good um, feedback and comments, so I've decided that this is how I'm going to do this feature from now on, um, unless, of course, I'm sick and all snotty, or have a big zit, I'm coughing a lot, no one wants to see me like that, but other than that, this is how it's going to be, so thanks again for your comments and your feedback, I um, really appreciate it, and let's just get to it. Uh, this week, Saturday, uh, Jason and I finally got in a uh, movie date night. We haven't done that in a while, so it was nice to uh, spend a little bit of time together. And uh, we chose a movie to watch downstairs that people loved. I think we are the last people on the planet to see this movie. People go on and on about how amazing this movie is. And uh, Jason and I are actually just kind of wondering why everyone thinks it's so phenomenal, <laughs> because we were like, what? Really? What? <laughs> it was the movie The Avatar. Um, yes, finally, we got to the Avatar. We jumped on that train. And now, before I get some evil comments and crazy emails, uh, let me explain. Visually, this movie is phenomenal. It's stunning. The detail, the colors, the world that he created, the, the language, all of that just that is beyond amazing, like just all, all, all of it, just beyond amazing. But the dialogue was really cheesy and super corny, and the story itself, okay, interesting story, but it's been done so many times in real life and on film. Like, it's um, the story of Canada, for goodness sakes, <laughs> includes this story. So we were just surprised. I think we were expecting more. But visually, you know, stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, so that kind of ended the day kind of. Uh, but at the beginning of the day it was cool because I had my first kind of balloon twisting gig. Yes, it was my cousin's party and not really a gig. But I did learn a lot from it, actually. I found out that I, it, I take apparently two hours to twist 11 fancy balloons. And if someone only wants me at their house for an hour, I need to... Um, show them only my very, very basic balloons, because of course all the kids kept picking the fancier stuff, and they do take longer to twist. Uh, so if it's a smaller party, absolutely no problem, but a larger party, I need to do something a little bit um, more basic. And most of my balloons are quite basic, but I was missing the bunny. I learned how to do the bunny, and I learned just this super basic draft, which I don't think I really needed to learn that, because he's a dog with a long neck, it's super easy to do. Now. I know, last week I said there may not be any balloons, but who am I kidding? Of course there's balloons. I wanted to practice some things that were a little bit fancier too, because with those I don't have as many as the basics. So I learned um, the penguin. He's fun. And the ladybug. <laughs> this one, I, I need to practice making smaller eyes, because he has like the Roger Rabbit eyes going on there. But, he's cute. but with the smaller eyes, he'll look better. Um, the turtle, I think this might be one of my favorites, actually. He's really easy. It's just he takes three balloons, so that's where the, the little key comes in, but really cute. This one was a hit. I actually learned this one um, right before going to my cousin's party, and I had two people ask for it. My son's always asking for one because, you know, after a couple weeks they shrink down, and uh, he, he keeps asking for a car, so, to, to, to. so that's that one. And I think the more com most complicated one I made was the giraffe <laughs> this week, this giraffe. He's really cute, but he's a pain in my butt. Holy cow, I can't believe how hard he was to do. Not even hard, I just, I couldn't get the air right, and he kept, um, oh, just, ah. Oh. Anyways, I'll probably never make him again, so appreciate what you're seeing. <laughs> no, I'm sure with more practice, but that's a lot of balloons to waste of practice. Anyways, that's that. <laughs> reading wise um, I had my first did not finish this week Aww. Um, it wasn't a bad book I just really couldn't get into the characters and finally it was like you know what I don't really care at all so I mixed it and uh, that way though I got to read the other two books that I was really hoping to get to I got to A Lot Like Love by Julie James super happy with what she did with this book hate that I have to wait a year for the next one but at least we know she's going to eventually be coming out with something else, so that's good. I posted this review this morning, actually. And this one, I'm almost done. Magic at the Gate, Devin Monk. 
this one I like how it's like woven and it's just it's, it's a little different this time, but it's uh, maybe a little more intricate. I don't know the word to be, but I'm really liking this one. And this review will be posted next Tuesday. Now, next week, it's uh, March break here, which means that the kids don't have school for the week. So that also means that my reading time will be diminished because I have my daughter and uh, the other girl that I have usually before and after school are here full days. And of course, they don't nap because they're six or five and six. So uh, usually I read during nap time. I won't be able to do that this week. So I'm hoping to squeeze in some shorter books and crossing my fingers and hoping they don't come upstairs too often asking for water. So I, they don't nap, but I need a break because it's a 10 hour day. And if I'm surrounded by the kids all day, seriously, I will go mad. So they go downstairs and they watch a movie and I give them a special snack or cookies or something that they don't usually eat during the day. Um, so that, so uh, book-wise, the shorter books that I'm hoping to get to is uh, Badlands by Celeste Delaney. I got this from NetGalley. I've had this actually from NetGalley for ages now. I'm finally going to get to it. Sounds really interesting, different from anything I've read lately, so that's cool. And there's also a couple other books that I got from authors that often if I'm kind of swamped, but I still am interested in reading the books, I'll email them saying, I'd love to read it, but I really don't know when I'm going to get to it. And often they're just like, okay, whatever, just whenever. So thank goodness for that. Um, one of them was uh, Sydney Summers, the third book in her Gargoyle series, The Pl Primal Pleasure. I read uh, Primal Hunger and Primal Attraction, posted those reviews a while ago. Really like them, so I'm really anxious to, to get into the third one. And Possession by A.D. Blackburn was one that I read the blurb, I looked it up on Goodreads, sounded interesting, so we'll give, hopefully give that one a go this week. Um, because March 29th is coming up, and there's a lot of really good, exciting books coming out that day. So I have to try to squeeze in as much as I can before then, because goodness knows that's the March 29th release is what I'm reading. I still haven't decided 100% what order I'll be reading them in, but... Um, We'll get to that when I have to deal with that. Now, weekend-wise, uh, my parents are taking my two kids to sleep over at their house for two whole nights. Woo! Last year, my parents did the same thing. That was the first time. And Jason and I had a fantastic weekend. We went away to uh, Le Casino Latini in Hull. And we went to the casino. We're not big gamblers, but it was kind of fun. You know, lights and the babies is she can't help but get caught up in it. And we went to the spa. It was Jason's first experience with that. He, We had a massage, and he fell asleep, and I giggled. And um, there was an outdoor heated pool. And I was just, oh, the whole weekend was just the most amazing. It was our first real trip away, just the two of us since the kids. So it was just phenomenal. And uh, this year, I don't know if you're ready for this, um, we are going to Ottawa, and we are going to get our taxes done. Yes, we're going to get our taxes done. Um, really, it's, I'm going to Authors After Dark in Philadelphia in the summer, and I need to save my money for that. We can't afford to take the two trips, so that's where we're, that's when we're going to be going. Although, mind you, he's going to pretty much be my chauffeur, uh, because I'll be hanging out with the girls, and not like he wants to get, be caught dead anywhere near that conference. But he's still coming with, and uh, he'll probably be hauled up in our hotel room playing his video game the whole time. But that's okay, because um, I'll be having fun too. And uh, yeah, so this weekend we're going to Ottawa getting our taxes done, and uh, that's our big thrill. <laughs> Woo! Well, we're, we're going to go to the movies too. I don't know what we're going to see, because I have no idea what's out, and uh, go for supper, preferably not a Denny's or a McDonald's or anything like that, like a nice sit-down restaurant that doesn't have kids running around. So that's our hope and our big plan for the weekend. So that's that's a little something different, at least. Hopefully I'll get to sleep in um, later than 7, because that seems to be the latest I've ever been able to sleep in, since my body's now used to waking up around 5, 10, 5.30. But, so that's, that's my plan for the weekend. My goal is to try to, to convince my brain to let me sleep till 9. 10 would be awesome. Oh, could you imagine sleeping until 10? Gosh, I don't remember the last time I did that. Really Anyways, those are my plans for the weekend. I hope you guys all have a safe and happy weekend. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next week. Attention, everyone.